All right, folks, we're out here today off of uh, Luetta, just west of 45, a couple miles, and I uh, got some bees, hopefully in this bay window space. Um, the homeowner called me. He was concerned that they were behind the brick, but you can see how this bay window sticks out about 8 or 10 inches, and uh, I'm hoping that's ideally where they're at because he said they used to be going in and out at a crack along the bottom where it's caulked up, uh, and then he sealed that up with caulk, and then they started coming in and out through the weep holes. Um, so I'm thinking they're probably in the... Um, in the box there, uh, but anyway Unfortunately, he tried to kill him with pesticide. You can see where he's drilled a bunch of little holes here along the the uh, mortar and There's not a real lot of booming activity going on with them uh, a lot of dead bees inside the house and outside on the ground and stuff But still there is some flight going on not sure you know if it's foragers. The weather is not real conducive to flight It's overcast. It's windy. It's nasty So it might just be that there's not a whole lot of flight going on because of that, but Anyway, we're going to uh, tear into it and see what we find. We got it opened up here, as you can see. Uh, about two and a half, three foot of combs here in this box. Not real dark. There's some darker ones back in here. Uh, maybe from last fall, but not, not anything real dark. This side could pass for being here just for being a year, but some newer combs right here at the back where they've been working, but uh, unfortunately they are toast. So. It appears the pesticide worked. I'm going to go ahead and cut out all these combs and uh, clean up the mess. There it is. Combs are out. I ran into maybe a hundred bees total. So there's, you know, sad, sad reality. There's nothing to be done for this one. No hope. I didn't find a queen. Uh, what brood was hatching out was already dead. So um, we got them out and I've instructed, instructed the homeowner on how to how to stuff the cavity and patch it all up to prevent them coming back. So we'll put a little bit of bee quick in there and a little bit of kills primer just to just to help out, but there's there's no hope for this one of building back. Oh, and I've got over here, I went ahead and uh, with the cones that they had, I bagged all that up. I'm gonna send that home in the trash because it's got pesticide on it, so I'm not even gonna take it home from my house. Yeah. Hey folks, I just thought I'd do a little FaceTime with you and kind of give you my thoughts on this job that I just did. Now, just let me start off and say I completely understand as a general homeowner, the, the want and the desire to try to save money up front and, and just poison the bees. I Honestly, if I wasn't a beekeeper, I'd probably do the same thing, but of course having worked with them now and fallen in love with them, I would never ever recommend killing them. But, you know, in, in this particular removal, they've had bees in this window box before. Um, and you can tell by the color of the cones, and I think I mentioned it, that, you know, there was a good sized colony there some time ago. Uh, they had an exterminator come out once and kill them and again I'm not dogging on exterminators we've all got a job to do um, but when the exterminator comes out you know they just shoot poison up in the wall and they don't they don't solve the problem they don't remove the combs um, but they also don't patch up the holes they don't patch up the point of entry um, so they had them killed once before uh, but not having fixed things up right this spring they just another swarm just moved right back in and uh, you know, took advantage of a basically, a, you know, a pre-built home for them. Uh, and you could tell from the, the colors of the combs, it was just those couple of nice white combs. And that's most likely the work of these bees that had just moved in. They haven't been there, you know, maybe a month or two. So, you know, having obviously seen it work once before, the homeowner went ahead and shot poison up in the wall again. And again, I, you know, I don't resent them at all for doing it. I, you know, I certainly would try to do take the cheaper option. You know, I'm fixing stuff myself around the house if I can rather than paying a professional. But, you know, this video serves as a good example of, you know, obviously why why you shouldn't do that. Um, and, and call a beekeeper the first time. And most people, you know, from what I've seen, it seems there is a growing trend. Um, you know, I get more and more people that, that call me and they say, you know, they've, they've seen in the news and they've read a little bit here and there that, you know, the, the bees are on the decline and, and we should do the right thing, you know, the first time, obviously. Um, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that the public is is becoming more aware of that and uh, You know, that's why I put these videos out there, too. It's just to try to Try to tell you the same thing, you know, just try to get more and more word out there and, and, you, and you know what it boils down to is in the grand scheme of things the guy had to pay an exterminator once and he had to pay for chemical himself and he had to pay me to come come clean up the mess this time so you know it, it ended up being more expensive um, I don't know what what the going rates are for exterminators. I've got a buddy that does pest control, and he's he's told me you know his his base fee just about to, to go do any extermination, not just bees, but cockroaches or whatever. So, you know, 200 bucks or more, 
Uh, I actually had a guy tell me this morning he had as a swarm in his tree that I'm actually on my way to go look at now. He was quoted $400 to poison a swarm. Um, so, you know, just kind of kind of keep that in mind, you know, as, as a beekeeper and as a, a bee removal sort of guy, I'm not in this to get rich. I, I by no means anticipate this ever, you know, getting me rich. That's why I do it on the side. That's why I do it outside of my regular career. Of course, that I love my, my full-time job. Um, but I, I love doing the work. I love working with the honeybees. I love meeting the customers. Um, more than anything, I love working with the honeybees. It's always a new challenge. It's always a new story, as y'all see with these videos. Um, but you know, in the grand scheme of things, my base charge to come, just my, my, my flat rate base charge to come out and do a job is $300, at least right now. Um, and it just goes up, you know, from there as far as the difficulty of the job or the situation. So, you know, it's, uh, I don't know how much you paid an exterminator, but again, if, if, if an exterminator was willing to charge 400 bucks to poison a swarm in a tree, you know, I've heard estimates here lately of, of exterminators wanting to charge up to a thousand dollars or more to, to get them out of the house. And again, I don't know who those exterminators were and I'm not trying to throw exterminators under the bus by any means. Um, but just kind of, you know, give you all some perspective on what's going on. But, but again, back to this particular job, you know, y'all probably picked up kind of the tone of my voice. It is sad. It's, it's sad to come across um, a colony like this that's been killed. And, you know, I do feel like talking with the client, he was a bit, you know, he, he felt bad for what he'd done. But again, it, I don't resent him any for it. He didn't know any better. He did what anybody would do. He'd go buy, go buy a can of wasp and hornet killer. That's the quickest thing you can find and shoot it up in the wall and, and hope you get lucky. But, you know, wrapping up the job, it, you know, we, we bagged everything. We threw it away. I don't want any bees to try to come and get that honey that's probably tainted. So... Uh, he, we tied it up tight and he threw it out with his trash. Um, and, you know, we got everything cleaned out. I went ahead and treated the inside of the cavity. I sprayed it with Kills Primer to, to try to cover over any sort of bee smell and uh, also put Bee Quick in there just to try to repel any sort of bees that might come check it out. And I, I instructed him on how to, you know, fill that boy with newspaper or insulation, whatever, to, to prevent it in the future and then seal up, seal up all the holes tight. So hopefully he should never have a bee issue again. Uh, but hopefully if they do they call me back so anyway like I said just kind of wanted to want to share a little bit with y'all since it was a brief video on the removal itself and uh, you'll have to excuse me not addressing the camera all that much but I am driving I've got my camera just set up here in my dash which probably not the smartest thing to do but you know I started it up when I was at a stoplight so you know and I obviously as y'all see I keep my eyes on the road so like I said appreciate the opportunity hope i didn't put you all to sleep listen to my little story but uh just wanted to kind of address the audience more or less and, and uh, kind of tell you how i feel i was just thinking about this job a lot this is the first one i've come across where where they've been poisoned and the poison work i've done jobs before where the people have told me you know we tried we tried poisoning them with something and uh you know it didn't work and they're still here this, this is the first one i've come across where it purely was a salvage job and i was just cleaning up the mess so kind of kind of got to me a little bit was thinking about it. that's why i want to share but like i said hope y'all enjoyed it stay tuned there'll be more to come for sure